back to our channel. I cannot believe that we're almost at 400 subscribers already. You guys rock. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about changing out the batteries in these sound and light up pins. Um, make sure you watch this video till the end and we'll reveal our winner and talk about our next giveaway. And again, thank you so much. Okay guys, if you're a pin collector, you've probably come across pins like this, the sound pins or the light up pins. And unfortunately, by the time you get them or if you had them for a couple years, the batteries go dead in them. And I know exactly on the case it says there that you cannot change these batteries well i'm here to tell you that you can and we're going to show you how to do that in this next video so here is the pin we're going to attempt to change the batteries now this does work most of the times unless when you open the pin up you'll see that it'll be all green and corroded inside that's probably means that it's got some kind of mechanical damage so changing the batteries may not work but let's go ahead and check this one out so when we flip this one over you can see here that it says press to 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 uh, light and let me show you um, and see this one does not light up. So let's go ahead and take this back off and see if we can change the batteries and see if that's what, if that'll make a difference. So usually guys, these backs, they have like a little, you can see like a little clip that holds on, on top uh, to the sides of it. And if you gently take like a little paper clip and I'm gonna actually use a little Allen wrench that goes to my my uh, pin, locking pin backs, but if you just stick that gently up in there, these these plastic things are usually just held down with a par, uh, piece of that foam tape. So if you do it very gently, you kind of just pry it up a little bit. Let's see if I can pry this up and it'll just pop right off. And as you can see, there's a little bit of that adhesive tape right on top of the batteries. And the batteries, oh, they don't look too corroded. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead first and just pop the old batteries out. I'm gonna leave that foam tape there just because I want it to be able to stick to the back of it again. It was wiggly as it was. So let's go ahead and slide our batteries out. So what you wanna do is you wanna look for the big openings and this one so they're uh, for the batteries to slide out. So it looks like it's here and here. So we're gonna push the battery out from this back side, just using this Allen tool. We'll kind of, I'm gonna hold on to this thing while we push it to because I don't want to bend the aluminum that the aluminum case housing that holds the battery. And I'm just going to hold my finger on it and kind of push it out if I can get it to slide. And there you'll see it'll pop right out. There's the battery popping out. So we'll pop that one out. And there's one. And let's go ahead and pop the second one out. And it looks like we can slide it from the back side here. So we'll pop that one out. There it goes, and that battery popped right out. Okay, so now I have got some replacement batteries, and most of the battery sizes that work in these these light up and sound watches or, or pins are these LR. 41H batteries and we actually ordered these online for like I want to say five dollars for two packs of them and I'll put the link in our bio or I'll put the link in the description so if you want to order some. So guys I couldn't find the exact link that we used to purchase our batteries but I did post the link of a similar batteries at a similar price and they work just as well. We got ours a couple months ago and I couldn't really find the original link so make sure you check that out. So let's go ahead and pop our little batteries out first. We've got one here put my ones that are dead over there though so I don't get confused so we'll pop our batteries out here's one pop out the second one so what I'm doing is I just kind of went in there and used the end of the allen wrench to kind of scratch out all that green stuff and maybe kind of like recharge the connection a little bit I see we've got some green stuff here I don't know if that's damaged the electrical aspect of it but we'll check it out when we slide our batteries back in so I think I've got them kind of scraped out pretty good got all the green stuff out of there and now I'm gonna go ahead and slide our batteries back in and see if we can get this working. So we'll slide it back in here. And like I said, I'm just gonna, before I put the back back on, I'm gonna check the connection to see if it's working or not, because we might have to clean it up a little bit more. Let's see, we'll pull this one out. Oh, 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 I think we have, I think we're working. Voila, look, now we have a working light. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put the back back on it. And then I'm gonna show you how to change out the, uh, sound ones. So they're, they're a little bit different backs, but look at that. Now it works. And I know it did say these batteries are not for changing out, but let's go ahead and slide this back in there. Okay, guys, now that we know that it's working, I'm going to go ahead and stick the back back on. And again, these are just held down with a little bit of sticky foam tape. And now that we've peeled it off, it's probably not super sticky. So I'm going to just peel this off and I'm going to replace it with a new piece of foam tape that I've got here. Give me one second. And I'll grab that. So I've got another little piece of clean foam tape that I'm gonna stick right back on top of those batteries. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our back back on. 
And the back actually has like a little flange thing. You can see it here. These are not really built for, like I said, they're not built for changing out. So all you're gonna do is when you put this back on, you're gonna kind of tuck that on the side there. We gotta line it up with our button to start it, which is here. And then the battery housing goes back over there. So first we're gonna slide this on here. There we have the back back on and let's go ahead and push the button and see if it works. And it is lighting up. And we'll set this one aside and let's go ahead and work on a sound one next. So these ones are super cool. These ones are those sound ones. So this is of course, Colors of the Wind. And when we push the button, of course the sound is not working at all. We push it, nothing. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna go ahead and very gently take a little scalpel and I'm gonna pop the back of this little case off here, just pop it right off. These are just like, kind of like old, like old school glued on. And I'm gonna show you how to open these up and we'll see if we can get this one working. So these are a little bit different because they're a flat kind of closed case like this, but you, these come off actually really, really easy. So let me move this out of the way so we focus on what we're doing here. So these ones have, see these like little tab things where they slide into the bottom case of it? There's one on either side. So these ones are very, very easy. All you do is you just kind of stick your little Allen tool down in there and it just kind of unhooks it from the top and then we're gonna do it to the other side. And these ones are a little bit different inside, so we're gonna pop that down there. And they're a little bit different inside, so let me show you what it looks like inside. Take it off really gently. And here's our inside part. I'm gonna set that aside. And here's our battery part. And I guess our sound part. So let's go ahead and see if we can change out these batteries and get this one working. So guys, these are a little bit different. They've got a little metal flange in it. See if you can see it on both sides here and here. So I'm just gonna lift that flange up so we can go ahead and slide the battery out. I'm just gonna use these little um, hemostats to do it. We're gonna grab that little thing and I'm gonna lift it up a little bit just so we can slide that battery out. And just like that, see how we got it? Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and slide the battery out from the back side like this because it was holding it there. Now we got the battery, there's one battery, it just pushed right out and we'll set that one aside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lift the little flange on this one as well so the battery can slide out. See it right there? We'll just lift it a little bit so we can slide that battery out because those, those are holding it in place. Those weren't on the other ones, but we're gonna go ahead and lift it up a little bit if I can get a hold of it. I get a hold of it with my nail, I think. And we're just gonna gently lift it. There, we've got it where I can grab it now with the hemostats it was pretty tight against the battery so we're gonna grab it and just pick it up a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and slide the battery out from the back side come out i think it'll come out we just push it right through there and that slides the battery out from the back side okay like that and now we're going to go ahead and take out two new batteries and see if we can get this thing working uh, it looks pretty good in there. It doesn't look corroded or anything to me. It looks pretty good. So this one should work fairly easily once we get the batteries changed out. Grab two little batteries here. Here's one and here's two. And again, those are down the connection. This, this part goes down, that part goes down. So we're gonna go ahead and just slide those in there. Oh, wrong side slide these in there put them up under that little flange thing push it down in there and then get this one and we're going to lift it up underneath that little tab there and just slide it back in there like that and then i'm going to now i'm not going to lock those tabs in place just yet i want to see if this is going to work let's see and let me see we'll put the back we'll set it back in there and see if it's going to work because it's that little metal connection right there see that little that little like uh see that little spiral metal thing that's on there and what that does is that makes a connection right there with that metal plate so we're going to drop it in there and see if we push it if it works it should work well, let me see and la la we've got it now these things sound pretty awful though in the long and the short of it, but at least we fixed it. So let's go ahead and put this one back together. Yes, and see, that's how easy it is. Even though it says batteries are not meant to be replaced, you can replace them. 
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this back on there. And what I've got is I've got crazy glue here. You could probably use the uh, glue gun as well, but I think the crazy glue will hold a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple drops on here. And we're gonna get this line back up on the pin back and get it fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on here. Make sure that everything's in there really good. And I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds while it sets up. We get everything lined up there. And I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds while it sets up. And you know, it doesn't take long, but you know the crazy glue, they've switched it up now so that it doesn't bond immediately so that, you know, people don't glue their fingers together or I don't know, their tongues or something. So it does give you like a second to wipe off. So you kind of got to hold it for a few minutes. Make sure it gets really good and set up there. But yeah, that's how easy it is to change out the batteries. And like I said, I know that it says on there, batteries are not meant to be changed. And there probably weren't. I mean, they probably thought, okay, the batteries are going to last a couple years, which you know is good enough. But when you collect pins and you get pins like this and you're disappointed that they're not working, it's kind of, you're like, oh, dang it. So we are fixing them up and we're doing, showing you how to do the good stuff. So there we have it, guys. We have both of these working now, the sound and the lights. And that's how easy it is to change out the batteries of these. Okay, and guys, I hope that video was helpful in helping you restore your sound and light up pins. And let us know in the comments if you've tried this and how it goes. For now the time has come, we're going to draw for our figment winner here. So I'm going to put everybody's name who commented into our random generator, and we're going to see who it is. Okay, everybody, here we are back at our wheel of names. And I, earlier I created a document and it added everybody's name who had commented on our previous video. So I'm going to scroll through here so you can all see that your name is indeed there. And I think this week we had 45 comments, something like that. And again, thank you so much, everybody who's hanging out with us and commenting. We really appreciate you. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to spin for our winner. Who's it going to be? Let's check it out. I'm so, so excited. This is so exciting for me, this part. And it looks like it is going to be Amy Bell 613. Woohoo! Amy, this figment pin is coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and commenting. We really appreciate you. Congratulations to our winner. Make sure that you reach out to us over on Instagram so that we can get your address and get this pin on the way to you. I really am so genuinely glad that you all are here. Make sure that you click subscribe and you share out our video so you'll have an opportunity to enter into our next drawing. And next week's bit, the giveaway is going to be, look at this, it's a great fig pen pin. If you guys haven't collected fig pen pins, they're amazing, you're going to love them. And this is Steamboat Mickey or Steamboat Willie, which you prefer so he will be next week's giveaway and that'll be next Tuesday and how you enter is you go ahead and you comment on the newest video this video right here and then you click subscribe and share out our video and that will enter you in for this great pin but I also want to talk to you guys about our 1,000 pin giveaway look at this isn't this fabulous so we were able to snag one of the Splash Mountain Cruiser pins and we'll be giving this away when we reach 1,000 subscribers so make sure you click share and you comment and you get all kinds of traction on our videos so we can reach that 1000 mark as soon as possible. And again, we appreciate you guys for being here and happy collecting.